Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video, and today we are going to do a character guide on Shelk. Um, Shelk is uh, from Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. She's a pretty cool character. Um, <clears throat> she definitely has a unique playstyle, so um, after kind of watching my character guide, you're going to have to decide if you like this type of playstyle or not. She does combo well with certain characters, especially like Cisne and off-turn damage dealers, because uh, her main gimmick is basically she can take a lot of turns in a row. Um, and you can chain a lot of turns in a row, uh, which is why they kind of built her for the current Lufenia. Um, I'll probably do a run of that Lufenia at some point and post that, but we'll talk about that when we get there. But let's go ahead and let's look at her artifacts and spheres first, and then we'll get into more detail about what her kit does, right? So her artifacts are easy. You just want three attack 108 and then her um, C50, which is net diver up, which is going to increase her max rate and attack. She is considered to be a damage dealer for the most part. So you want like damage dealing type things on her. Um, so that's kind of what you want to go with there. Uh, max rate 330 is also an alternate you could throw in if you need to. You can see my uh, arts are pretty maxed out for her. Um, I did blue her armor actually the first time she came around. Um, but unfortunately, I never really used her that much. So I kind of regretted blueing her to be honest. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to use her a lot now. It just really depends, right? Um, the problem with Shelk is that a lot of Lufenia orbs discourage you taking a lot of turns in a row, and that's what she's meant to do. So, like, she's going to look really good on the current Lufenia Plus because she's built for it, but then down the road, there's going to be a ton of times where you're just punished for taking a lot of turns in a row. So, she is a little bit more niche, I think, and she doesn't have to take a lot of turns in a row, but other than, like, her... Like, her EX does really good damage, but her other attacks, like, alone don't do a ton of damage. What makes her good is that when you think of the entire string of attacks she's doing by taking so many free turns, you add all that up, then, yes, yeah, she's doing a lot of damage, right? And the combos you can do, I think, work really well there. Um, and let's look at her spheres. So, being a damage dealer, you want the typical A sphere type thing, which would be brave damage uh, or attack. Uh, she is a physical attacker, so melee attack could work. So just try to find the best spheres you have that fit that. So her own sphere is actually really, really good. So back when she first came out, I just put her own sphere on her. So brave damage and attack by 5%. Uh, very, very good. I would say she's right there with Rydia is like one of the best spheres in the game. Hers is actually better than Rydia's for A sphere because Rydia's requires weakness damage. This one only requires breaking or attacking a broken target, which is really good. Now, it has become more common lately where enemies can't be broken, so in those instances, it's not as good, but for the most part, you're able to break enemies, right? So that's what I kind of went with, and then I did, uh, Raijin has a really, really good uh, physical attack sphere of 15%, so I threw that on Shell because she is a melee damage dealer, so I went with that. The C slot, there's a couple of routes you could go with this. Um, I would say Alphanod is kind of the most generic one you could do just to do like party, uh, party attack. It does Imp Brave too. But the party attack is why I have it on there. But um, putting something like Seodor wouldn't be the worst idea because Seodor's adds healing to her every time she, I believe, does crits or attacks a broken target. Um, and because she's taking so many attacks in a row, she can just string off like really small heals to the party, which can be kind of useful, right? So that could be one route that you take there. Um, you can kind of decide on the C slot, but I went with Alpha Nod for mine. I think Seodor is kind of intriguing. Uh, just depends on what you want to do. You could do nines. Nines would only heal herself. So if you want to have self-healing, you could do that. But she can kind of do that to herself. We'll talk about that. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and hop in. So we are uh, doing the uh, intersecting wheels here. Just because I know it's a nice, easy one where I can showcase. But I kind of want to showcase like how you can use Shulk in a positive way or like a good way you can use her. So we're bringing Freya because Freya's got the range damage we need, but Freya's the type of character you want to run with Shulk anyways. And we're going to show that off with Cisne as well. Um, so we'll hop in here and we're going to take a look at the, the kit here. So she, the thing with um, Shulk, she's very non-traditional in the way that you play her. You really don't play her like you would play any other character in the game, to be honest. It's, she's got a really unique play style, which I think some people really like. Um, so let's start with Cisne here. And let's just put some calls and stuff on. We'll try to make Shulk look really good here and see how well we can abuse her abilities here. Okay, and then we're going to get Cisne doing her thing. And then we're going to get Freya up in the air and we should be good to go. And what I'm going to try to do with Shulk is I'm going to show you the technique where basically you can just string almost... In, you can keep stringing attacks together... Um, and I'm gonna, we're gonna see how long of a chain we can do. You wouldn't always do it this way. Like, it's okay to let the enemies take turns. But if, say, you were doing something where you didn't want the enemies to take turns, you could do that. 
Oh yeah, Cisne's ranged too, so I guess I didn't need to bring Freya. Uh, we've got tons of ranged here. <laughs> These orbs are going to go away very quick <laughs> with all this range damage we're doing. Yes, I forgot about that. That's fine, because I'm still showcasing what I want to show you here. Um, so let's go ahead and we got to do LD. I guess I could have brought like a Garnet or like a Roms or something just to make her look better, but this is fine. We're, we're going to really abuse uh, Shulk's abilities here. Okay. Uh, we'll do that and we'll do that. Okay, so Shulk's coming up and we're going to kind of talk about how she works here. So the way Shulk works is while she has her overhead active, she basically gets, anytime she does an action, she gets a free turn as long as she's not currently in a free turn. And then also if the enemies were to take a turn, she would get a free turn. So right now we have Optic Spindle, Spindle and Delta Arts. And then we have Counter Tech, which is the LD, and we've got um, Buff Longer Thrust, which is the AA. Um, let's go ahead and throw a call on first. So what we're going to do basically with Shulk is we are just going to string together a bunch of attacks. Now, I usually lead with Optic Spindle because that gives you the plus versions of her attacks. The Optic Spindle or the EX will give you the plus versions. She is a slower charging EX. You don't get it as often, but it is pretty powerful. So let's go ahead and Optic Spindle, and we should get a free turn after this. And you'll see what the damage is kind of looking like. But this is ridiculous now because we're getting Cisne and Freya counters like every time. So per turn, like, look at that. We've already canceled the orb. <laughs> like, that's how much. And we haven't even like barely started using Shelf yet, right? Okay, so now we have the plus abilities, right? Now, normally what you would do is if you're okay giving up the turn, then you could just go Delta Arts. Delta Arts actually gives her a nice Brave Shield, which is really nice, and it does refresh the overhead, so you have to use it periodically. But here's what you do. I'm in a free turn right now, right? So if I just did another attack, I would not get another free turn, but if you interrupt it with the AA, you can string it together. So what I typically will do is I will use the AA, which does do an attack on its own. You can see all the attacks we're burning through here. Okay, now what I can do is I can do any attack and I'll get a free turn. So now I'll do Delta Arts because that'll refresh my overhead and give her the Brave Shield. And basically you're going to do this until you're out of AAs until you can stop doing the combo. But this is where LD is going to come into play that makes her really ridiculous, right? Alright, so I just did Del Delta Arts. Now we just use the AA again. And then now while doing this, Shulk is just like taking all these turns while my off-turn damage dealers are just going insane, right? So, like, you can do some nasty combos here, right? And then you can kind of choose. I just kind of cycle through. You can go Optic Spindle again if you want to. And then we're just getting all the power coming through here. And then, yep, another free turn. So we use the AA again. And now you're going to say, okay, well, you're out of AAs. How are you going to keep this combo going? Well, we'll show you. <laughs> we will show you. Uh, we, we haven't done the LD yet, right? So now what I can do is I can do Delta Arts or Optic Spindle. I can kind of choose. I'm going to do Delta Arts. Yep. Okay, and you can see my overhead had run out, so I refreshed it just in time. Now, I'm on a free turn and I have no way to use the AA, so now what we do is we use the LD. Now, you have to be careful about the LD. The LD, basically, it's actually like a reset. So what this does is it charges her EX fully and literally resets her to her base, like, start of the round. So it can be bad because if you have buffs from your party members those buffs will actually go away so you have to be careful about that but watch now she's fully reset um and i've got the ex up again um so let's go ahead and use the ex and show that off and now you can see all my aas return like you get all your skill uses back so this is how you can keep training and you can see this ex is gonna be quite powerful okay we'll let the enemies do their thing here yep and i got an extra turn so now what I do is I go into AA again. I mean, honestly, with all the LD uses, I could probably kill this Lufenia Plus on Shulk's turn. And this is the type of shenanigans you can do. So if you like this, then definitely go for it. All right, let's Optic Spindle. Yes. You just have to make sure you're paying attention to if you're on a free turn or not, right? Yep, another free turn. And we'll do the AA again. I mean, this is it. This is how you play Shulk. You just go do an attack, do the AA, do an attack, do the AA, do an attack, do the AA. Uh, refresh with the LD. And you can see, um, so, okay, we just used the AA. I got to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Let's Delta Arts because my overhead's about to run out. Yep, we got that at two now. Okay, free turn. So then we're going to AA again. A 
And I'm going to Delta Arts again because my overhead's about to go. Okay, yep. So you can see how I can, I'm just stringing it together and like literally we've been on, this is Shulk's like technically your first turn, right? Um, so now I used all those up again. So what I could do is I could LD again and keep going from there, right? So sure, let's LD again. I may have messed up one of my AAs along the line. I feel like those ran out pretty quick to that. Yeah, so I do have three AAs. So yeah, or I just did it that quick. Maybe I'm fine. But yeah, let's go to EX again. <laughs> and we'll just string it together until these guys are dead. But that's basically how you run Shulk. It's pretty fairly easy. Now, in newer, harder content, you're not going to be able to do what I'm doing here. Um, there's going to be bosses that might jump turns. Bosses that punish you for taking a lot of turns, right? Things like that. So you just have to be careful. Like, in fights where Shulk works like this, like, you can just cheese it. Um, which is what you're seeing here, is you're seeing a lot of stinky cheese right now. That's Optic Spindle. But if you're someone that likes no-turning stuff, like, Shulk really helps with that. And if you like running Cisne and these off-turn damage dealers, she's a great buddy for him. I know somebody had commented on one of mine that they were bummed that they didn't get Terra, because Terra is really good for using with Cisne. Well, that's what Shulk is. Shulk is also a good partner. Um, for Cisne. So if you really like Cisne and abusing that, um, you could pick up Shulk and just like go to town, right? And you can see I've just about got this wrapped up and I still have LD uses, right? So <laughs> I <laughs> wouldn't even have to be done right now if I didn't want to be. But yeah, we're just going crazy. So yeah, I think this is going to finish off. We'll do another AA. And there it is right there. So uh, yeah, that's it. And I think I saw another full LD use, so I still could have done another cycle of that. So you can see just me stringing together shelf turns we're able to beat a lufenia plus so anyways there you go guys uh let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching um i do have a discord if you want to hop into my discord i'll post it in the description um thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one